this is a lecture 10 in signals and systems in this lecture we are going to discuss two classification of signal that is even and odd signals power and energy signals right in discrete time in the lecture 9 and uh, 9 9.1 we have discussed with some discrete time signals like unit uh, step sequence unit ram and uh, exponential sequences some properties of uh, impulse functions in continuous as well as discrete then uh, 9.1 I solved some problems on discrete time signals right now we'll see what is the even and odd signals right so I'm first time going for even signal or even if x of n and it's a reversal or folded version suppose both are equal then x of n is called even signal right now how to find even part of the x of n so x even of n is equal to x of n plus x of minus n by 2 this is already we discussed in a continuous that is even part of t is equal to x of t plus x of minus t by 2 similarly odd signal right odd signal any signal can be called as odd if x of n is equal to minus of x of minus n if this condition is satisfied then we can say x of n is odd signal right now how to find the odd portion of the given signal that is x o of t is equal to sorry this is not t x of n x of n minus x of minus n by 2 if you if i add even part and odd part what we will get see x of n e of n plus x of odd of n is equal to if you see here x of minus n x of minus n will be cancelled you will get 2 times of x of n by 2 is nothing but x of n that means any signal can be represented by even part plus odd part right so this is the even part of the signal it is the odd part of the signal so this is about even and odd signals next we will see the power and energy signals so first we will see the energy signal so if suppose x of n is there this x of n is called energy signal when the energy lies between 0 to infinity that means energy should be finite so then we can say x of n is energy signal right now for energy signal what is the power is 0 right so that we will see prove later so first remember that for energy signal the power is 0 now how to find energy we have seen in continuous time signals what is energy minus infinity to infinity integration mod x of t square dt so it is a continuous that's why we are getting an integration the but the moment for discrete time signal comes so discrete time signals the integration will become summation that is energy in discrete time is equal to sigma and here in place of t we will get n so n is equal to minus infinity to infinity mod x of n whole square right so this is the energy formula in discrete time signals right similarly what is the power signal that means power should be finite value if x of n is there if power is between 0 to infinity if power is finite value then we can say x of n is power signal right for power signals energy should be energy is infinity right so for energy signal power should be 0 but for power signal energy should be infinity right similarly we need to find the power formula in discrete time so in the energy for continuous time signal it is limit t tends to infinity 1 by 2 t integration of minus t to t mod x of t whole square dt now here when it comes to discrete time signal this will leads to 
this is not energy this is power p right now for p is equal to limit n tends to infinity here i will get 2n plus 1 right the total time period sigma minus n to n this is a width minus n to n this is the total width plus 1 will be here i will tell you the reason mod x of n whole square this is the for power formula in discrete time signals suppose it will change it to suppose minus n by 2 to n by 2 this is if it is minus n to n we will get 2n plus 1 if it is n by 2 to n by 2 we will get 1 by what is the difference n plus 1 and this will become n tends to infinity right this is the power so depending on the time period it will change now why this is n plus 1 see always when we take the discrete time signals always suppose p n is a period so it will start from 0 1 2 etc and n minus 1 right so it will start from 0 so 0 to n minus 1 so we have to n minus 1 plus n minus 1 etc so it will become 2n plus 1 right means 0 to n minus 1 so that's why this n plus 1 term will come always right? we, we, we have to include the 0 term also so that's why it is n plus 1 right so this is the power and energy form so I will give one statement about the periodic signals if all all periodic signals are power signals because the power will be finite for periodic signals but not vice versa so, so that is if the some signal having a finite power but it may not be periodic signal though that case we have seen in the continuous time signals right so sometimes it may be suppose in the case of u of n right if you see the u of n so what is the power limit n tends to infinity 1 by 2n plus 1 integration of minus n to n mod x of n square but u of n start from 0 so limit n tends to infinity 1 by 2n plus 1 sigma 0 to n 1 right so whenever there is a constant so we'll get what is this 1 by 2n plus 1 into upper limit minus lower limit plus 1 so this is n plus 1 by 2n plus 1 if i make limit n tends to infinity so take n common 1 plus 1 by n 2 plus 1 by n so the power is 1 by 2 that means it is finite but unit step sequence is not a periodic signal so so this statement is correct that is all periodic signals are power signals but not vice versa now when we are uh, finding the power in discrete time signals we need three important uh, formulas the formulas that is the first one if sigma is there and there are limits of constant that is minus n to n and this is one the resultant is upper limit minus lower limit plus 1 so it will become 2n plus 1 this is a constant so if i take example minus 2 to 2 1 so it is 4 plus 1 which is equal to 5 so whenever there is a constant here so upper limit minus lower limit in plus 1 one more example if you take suppose a is here minus n and n so a into upper limit minus lower limit plus 1 so a into 2n plus 1 something like this this is the one formula second formula sigma suppose n is equal to 0 to infinity right and it is suppose a power n is there so depending on a we will get the values if a is less than 1 it will be 1 by 1 minus a condition here is a less than 1 right so this is the condition if a n equal to 0 to infinity and a power n is equal to 1 by 1 minus a if a is less than 1 then only is just satisfied the third formula required here is suppose same n is equal to 0 
but it is not finite value here infinite but here finite a power n which is equal to 1 minus a power n plus 1 by 1 minus a where is the condition is a less than 1 these are the most important formulas when we do the discrete time signals when we find the power or energy so these formulas will be most important right so remember these formulas next next we will solve some problems on power and energy so comment on energy signal or power signal so first we will find the energy and power so for problem a x of n is given as 1 by 3 power n u of n right so what is the formula for energy sigma n is equal to minus infinity to infinity mod x of n whole square now if you see the moment u of n u of n start from 0 so the limits will become n equal to 0 to infinity and mod of x of n x of n is modulation is 1 by 3 power n square right now how can we make like this n equal to 0 to infinity 1 by 9 power n right 1 by 3 whole square is 9 so 1 by 9 now we know the formula of n equal to 0 to infinity a power n so simply 1 by 1 minus a that is 1 minus 1 by 9 so the answer is 9 by 8 so that means energy is a finite so we can say energy signal but we need to find the power also what is the power limit n tends to infinity 1 by 2n plus 1 right sigma minus n 2n mod x of n whole square this is the formula so limit n tends to infinity 1 by 2n plus 1 sigma so for u n it will become 0 this is n only so again we will get 1 by 3 whole square that is 1 by 3 whole power uh, n square so again limit n tends to infinity 1 by 2n plus 1 sigma n equal to 0 to capital N 1 by 9 power n right so so we know n equal to 0 to n a power n formula limit n tends to infinity 1 by 2n plus 1 into 1 minus a power n plus 1 by 1 minus a that is 1 minus 1 by 9 now if I substitute n tends to infinity 1 by infinity you directly become 0 so right that is a power will become 0 so we don't bother about this one because 1 by 2n plus 1 is here so 1 by n so n tends to infinity means power is 0 that means this signal is energy signal right next we will see the second b that is x of n is equal to e power j pi by 2 n plus pi by 8 that is x of n is equal to e power j pi by 2n plus pi by 8 is it energy or power signals at the moment we see the e power j into omega something we have to come to your mind that it is a power signal so anyway we will find the energy and power energy is equal to sigma n is equal to minus infinity to infinity mod x of n square so n equal to minus infinity to infinity e power j pi by 2n plus pi by 8 mod so what is the e power x e power i x mod is nothing but 1 only so e power j theta is 1 so n equal to minus infinity to infinity 1 if you uh, summate the 1 infinity times we will get infinity that means energy is infinity if i find power sigma uh, limit n tends to infinity 1 by 2n plus 1 right sigma minus n to n mod e power j pi by 2n plus pi by 8 square again mod will get 1 right so we know the formula of minus n to n and the constant limit n tends to infinity so the upper limit so 1 into upper limit minus lower limit 
plus 1 so it's nothing but 2n plus 1 right so 2n plus 1 by 2n plus 1 so what we will get cancel we will get power is 1 so what is the power so power is finite but energy is infinite so what is this a power signal right now the third question is given like this so cos pi pi 4 n right so this cos pi by 4 n is nothing but again periodic signal so it is a power signal again so that is i'm giving assignment for you you can solve and prove that it's a power signal and uh, you should get power is equal to 1 by 2 so because a square by 2 a is 1 so the power should be half so you, you do on your own and uh, if any doubt you just post a comment right so this is about the this uh, lecture in this lecture we have discussed what is the even and hard signals and what is the power and energy signals and how to find the power and energy for a given discrete time signals and also we discuss some three formulas and when you do the summations we need to know three formulas so that also we discussed right so that is about this one so in the next lecture we will start with the systems right the signals and systems so signals are over now we talk about the systems